<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. Not many days now that I do pre-record it. I kind of miss them in a way. But anyways, um, I've been I've been getting a call to do a reading from the Celtic, uh, the blue, oh my god, Green Witch Tarot. Where's the box? There we go. This one. Green Witch Tarot. Put out by Anne Mora and Kim Estegard Leonard, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but there it is. That's the one we're looking at. It's a beautiful deck. I've had it for a few years. And I don't use it enough. But for some reason, the Green Witch has been haunting my head. You might say. So what I thought I would do is I will do a general Celtic cross using the Green Witch. I'll be referring to my book a lot because there's a lot to, there's like three pages for every card. I just try to go in for the smallest, most condensed. Um, of course, I'm intuitive reader, so that all comes forward as well. If there's nothing, there's nothing. If there is, there is. And I pass it on to whoever it might mean something to. So here we go. I'm going to begin the shuffle for the Celtic. General, some of it, you know what? Or maybe only one or two things may hit personal for you, all right? And for a few, they'll be saying, oh my God, the whole reading resonated with me. It's like you were giving me a private personal reading, which is always good to hear. As I said, maybe none of it will hit too, you know? it's you, you, We can't predict these things, but the intention behind this reading is definitely is definitely a general reading for anybody that's viewing the reading as well. It's a general reading. The Celtic Cross. Just to see. It's a good example too of what Celtic Crosses look like and how they work if you're new to tarot. And this is uh same thing you would use in a private reading that I would use in a private reading. Anyway, so it's a 10 card spread. It covers a lot of stuff, not just one question or um, one subject. This covers a lot of things. Whatever spirit feels that you need to know about, that needs to be brought to your attention, that you need to be given a heads up on for things that are coming into your life, things that are leaving your life, things that are changing your life. And maybe not so much that dramatic, but could be the everyday mundane too. Things that you need to be on top of and aware of. So, very different reading in the broad daylight like this with the sun coming in because I hardly do it at all anymore. This is a general reading for anybody that's taking part by viewing the reading. Okay. Cards are all nice and smudged. Everything's cleansed and smudged. Even moi. <laughs> These are still like brand new, so they're very slippery. I hope I don't drop them or spill any. I'm going to cut the deck right here. I'm going to confirm with my Lilith. I'm going to push you guys back a little bit so I can have some room. Okay. This might just make a bit of a mess. Now I'm going to ask Lilith if for this general reading are the cards where they're supposed to be. Let's see. I'm going to bring the camera down. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right, Lilith. This is a general reading for the general public, not a private one. This will be the Celtic Cross. Now, if you could take a moment and feel and read into this that the cards 
the top 10 as this deck stands are going to be the cards that resonate with most of you the reading of the top 10 cards as the deck is standing the cards that are meant for this general public reading for the celtic cross and will the top 10 cards resonate with most more than not she's saying yes she's right on the ball thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Here we go. Where are my? Yeah, look at my. I thought my dog was out of this. And I wake up and my good glasses look are chewed. <laughs> Guess who got at them? My little dog. And now they're they're going to stick into my. E oh, I need new ones now. Good heavens. All righty, Aphrodite's. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm missing my selenite. I usually hold that and it's fallen down under the fridge somewhere. But anyway, the very first card represents forever it means anything to is your current situation. Oh boy. And it is the four. The four of cups. Actually, you know what? I gotta redo that. It came up in reverse. So, I'm, and I don't normally deal with reversals. I think just the one upright card is enough um, to deal with. Um, but we'll we'll go with reverse today. Beautiful. This one showed upright. We've got the Ace of Swords. Isn't that nice? Or Thames, is it, it's called here. This is the card that's helping you. It's certainly not crossing you in any way the next card is the best you can expect at present we've got the eight of cups eight of chalices there we go that one was upright so is this one your past and how it could be influencing you today the three of swords or a thames um The next card is a reverse page of wands. And I'm placing that in more or less the essence of the reading, the meaning of the reading, the not the meaning, but the the um, the motivation behind the reading. Okay. Upright page of cups. This is going to be your next notable event. That could be taking place in your life. Now we begin down here with card number seven, the card that's all about you, and it is upright. The five of wands. I don't like the fives. Who is this meant for? Who's relating to this? It's not good. The second card is your environment, which basically translates into your world. Another eight. Eight of wands your environment, your world. Okay. The next card is the neither here nor there card. That's what I call it. It's your hopes and your fears for the future. Neither one have been realized. So the six of pentacles and it's in reverse as well. I'll put that in reverse since we're in a lineup here. I can tell. Okay. The last card another eight whoa there's some smashing extreme changes going on for you guys eight of pentacles and it's in reverse that's why i don't like reverse i don't care for reverse i don't okay okay so here we go these are the cards for this celtic cross general reading i gotta make sure my camera's still running that's a good thing okay um one moment i gotta pop you guys back up again get the camera back where it needs to be there i guess i think i hope very first card that came up it was the four of cups in reverse I go, these cards you have to really look at them for metaphors meanings 
there's so much, everything that's in the graphics has a, has a meaning. All right. Normally in the Oceanic, it's not the best card. It's really not. It's a lot of self-doubt. It's about losing faith in life, in people, in yourself, really. Um, let me get the book. We're going to try to narrow this down to the most vital. All right. But it's not, not a good thing. I don't even know where I'm at. Ah, dee dee dee. What are we? Cups. There we go. And I want the, there's the three. And I want the four. There we go. So with the four of of cups, let's see what I can do for for this card here. And it being in reverse, but I'll hold it upright just so that you guys can see it. There's an herbal pot in front of her. It's called Dittany. It's an herb of desires, beginnings, manifestations grow in this flower pot. And a dragonfly right on top of her head, kind of behind her a bit, is a symbol of guidance, activation, inspiration, flies into the room. Opportunities here to, to, to end dissatisfaction is part of this card. Um, the card represents boredom, apathy, seeking mindless distractions, aversions, troublesome relationships for some. If it was upright, it would be discontent, dissatisfaction. Opportunity to achieve a goal requires you to take action. You need to reassess everything before you take the action. Um, you're in a stationary period where nothing seems to be moving. Taking a new approach to all problems may come to you. New possibilities, faithfulness, new friendships, a need for change, challenges, unidentified longings, motion, motivation, motivation most of all being needed, whether it's upright or in reverse. Either way with this card, both ways, upright, reverse, seems to be almost identical in their descriptions and the meaning that it carries it's showing um it's showing you Luke, that you've lost faith in everything around you and you said might as well lose faith in myself i can't count on anybody else how can i even count on me that sounds silly but that's what's coming forward um that you're placing yourself with other people when you shouldn't be you always stand um solitary not alone but 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 singularly you shouldn't be comparing yourself to others at all. All right. That's part of the card. You need to reinstill your faith. And maybe it's the pandemic for some. The slowing down. The stillness. The stopping. The holding tight. Hoping for better. And it doesn't seem to come. It's almost like somebody hoping for the pandemic to get over with. Um, not somebody. Zillions of people. Right. Um, and everybody thought after the wave that it would just calm down we'd all go back to normal life and it doesn't seem to be happening anywhere for anybody of anything where we are going through the second wave in some places the third wave has hit um all you can do is take it day by day and not think ahead not unless you're planning ahead for something specific don't look ahead for the pandemic live for today live for tomorrow and try to work around it so that you keep yourself up but you need motivation. You don't stop living because you were told to, basically. Find another way to live so that you know that you're alive. Find another way that doesn't expose you or other people to each other. You're not breaking any laws. You're not going against, you know, the system. Blah, 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 blah. That's enough for that card. But that's where some of you are. And I believe this is pandemic related. You're just starting. It, it's been so long. Before we know it, it'll be a whole year that we've been dealing with this and we're nowhere near being done. All right. So, but try to keep things as normal as you can and try to, you've got to go out of your own way and inconvenience yourself to bring some interest into your life, to bring some spark into your life. you got to think outside your own box. 
you might put it that way. All right. Um, take up a hobby that keeps you at home, something you can be find yourself passionate about, something you really enjoy. That'll help you put into, and you'll be saying to yourself, am I ever glad I took up and decided to, to paint, to write, to sing, to whatever, whatever it could be for you. Take up baking, I don't know, whatever it is, something where you feel passionate about and you feel that you're good at something you're comfortable with that this will help wall away some hours that would normally be painfully slow and painfully long but what you have helping you here is making some new starts you got the ace of a thames which is the ace of swords it's a great card beautiful beautiful card you can see all the different little the little graphics here <laughs> little mouse little bugs and all that good stuff over it looks like dandelions is what it looks like let me bring that up for you here let's see what we can do oh look that was meant to come up i picked the book up and there it is with um i'll hold it up dandelions herbs of power skill authority Keen intellect, grow beneath the athane. A field mouse, a symbol of skills, success, and focus, clings to a stem and watches dandelion seeds take flight. Victory, success, achievement, strength, breakthrough, power to achieve goals, conquests, intellectual power, clarity of thought, Mental agility, wisdom, strong will, great determination, enlightenment, truth, strength in health matters, surgery for some. The prompt on this card are the words victory and strength. How wonderful is this? Um, and it even acknowledges, really, it acknowledges you making that change from this to this. So most of you are going to handle this okay, and most of you are handling it okay. You've got a new routine. You've got a new way of living every day, um, and that's a wonderful thing. But for some, there's one or two. I'd say there's probably a, two people at the very least. Um, it should be more like 200, but um, within the contents of this reading for whoever's viewing it, Two people are holding off, holding back. You, you've you been down for so long now, for months on end. And there's a bit of a stubborn streak in you that's not working for you. It's working against you. Nothing to do. Can't change anything. Can't do anything. Everything is can't and won't. Will not. All negative connotations, all right? Um, you really have to pull yourself a little harder than most people to get yourself pulled out of this possibilities there you need to start making changes make the smallest change that you can from start and finish it move on to another after that you'll start to come back if you try universe will see that and will help you it will all right keep that in mind keep that all in mind beautiful the next card is the best that could ha happen to you right now, you know, um, more like the best that you can expect right now. It's not that one. I picked up the wrong one. We've got the Eight of Cups again. Huge change here for somebody. Very, very much so. You bear with me while I bring that up here. The Eight of Cups, basically. Another one. I'm opening them right on. Like, I don't, that's a good, thick little book. It's heavy. And I'm opening up the pages for the card, and it's opening up for me. Well, I guess it's been waiting a long time to, for this reading to be. So, you see the symbolism as with every card here. Grapes are for clarity and growth, inspiration and mental power grow by the beach a cormorant a symbol of transformation skills and independence stands on a stump 
nearby drying its wings. The meaning of this card, turning point, abandoning plans, new path, scholarship, advancement, moving to a higher level, changing patterns. Um, I think this is one of the ones that came up in reverse, if I'm not mistaken. And the reverse on this card is dissatisfaction, reckless abandonment, forced changes. That sounds very interesting, does it not? Forced changes. The prompt on the card is a turning point and a new path. So that's for the stubborn ones that say, why bother putting in any effort for anything? Why bother? We're going to be told we can't do this, we can't do that. And then there's that attitude. I get like that sometimes too, you know. One point with COVID, um, this is a compound I live on, five homes on the water on the beach here. And we have a big marsh on one side and then the coves right across the beach. Um, on the other side, it's all walkable. It's all within the same area. And they had announced just before they started to lift the, <laughs> to lift the restrictions just before about a week before have been posted online that my area the marsh the cold the whole people weren't allowed on it and I'm going what the hell number one you'd have to cross this private property in order to get there and people just are not going to do that and if they did they'd be told you can't just come on here at free will this is private it's all private the marsh the water the cold all along here it's all protected under my province's nature trust um and i'm the only year-round resident this whole area the only the only one and they said nobody was that just burned me so i thought how stupid is that i'm the only one that lives here therefore i'm going to be the only one walking along the marsh or on the beach nobody else who's infecting who am i going to infect a seal <laughs> you know a mackerel, you know, am I going to infect some sea life? Are they going to infect me with COVID? Please. I immediately got my dog and said, let's go for a W-A-L-K to the B-E-A-C-H because he's right underneath me. We're not doing that. If he hears that, he think, oh, let's go. Um, and I, and I, I was just fuming. I'm like, if, 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 and I said it online that if the powers that be had their way, especially for rural people because it's almost feels like they're trying to take the joy of life away like they're trying to push us to the edge they would be telling us you're not even allowed outside on your own deck you're not allowed to walk around in your own yard you're not allowed to have a campfire you're not allowed to have anything that's going to bring you any pleasure at all if something's bringing you pleasure stop it right now do you know what i mean that kind of a thing that's not my attitude but it here is with somebody you've given up completely never ever under any circumstances no matter what you're experiencing or going through you never give up hope and belief you need to connect with the universe and have a long talk with the universe to get back that oomph in your life to get back the gumption to get up and do things in your life so it's your life it doesn't belong to anybody else it belongs to you in the bigger picture you're the one responsible for your own happiness your joy your comfort some people get a little crazy with um when they're told to do something or they can't do something and they take it to the extreme there's nobody there to give you a reward believe you me if you're the anal type there's no reward from the powers that be none at all you know so do everything within reason use your common sense and what you're feeling as well the next card was a reverse card with the page of wands i do remember that Okay, bear with me while I look this up, everybody. Everybody. There we go. There it is. These are coming too darn easy today. <laughs> so here we go. Time, T H Y M E. Okay, the spice represents confidence, growth, skills. And is usually gathered within the baskets. A donkey is a symbol of courage and opportunity. Awakening wisdom and learning carries the load. The meaning here is restlessness. 
restlessness, new creative inspiration, new ideas, honorable intentions, loyalty, honest, important news, self-reliance, independent action, creating long-term plans. That's your um, upright, but reversed, impatience, petty rivalries, flattery from a false friend, easily influenced, prompt words, a career, restlessness, resourceful, important news as well. So with the card in reverse, these are the things you need to work on is your patience. Pay no attention and give no energy at all to any petty rival, rival uh, rivalries. Sorry. People that are always seem to want to try to get under your skin. You know what I mean? Some people are pure argumentative with everybody. And they go home and they laugh at the end of the day. Who they got going today. Who they wound up today. Who they offended today. This sort of a thing. Don't bother with the ignore, ignore. Don't take any flattery to heart. Because whoever flatters you at this time, it's not true. It's false. Don't ever, ever, ever allow yourself to be easily influenced by anybody. Keep your own mind. Have your own thoughts. Make up your own decisions. Go in the direction you want to go. Don't let other people change your mind. Because if somebody does and it feels a little unsettled by what someone has done or said they're trying to get you to do, that's when you listen to your gut and you go, something's wrong here. Get out of it any way you can. Whatever it is, it's going to take whatever you can do. But you got to put you first. All right? Do your own thing. Don't become a lawbreaker. No, but do your own thing within the, within the lines of the law kind of a thing, right? So there's that. Okay, so... And here we've got the Eight of Cups. I don't think I read that yet, or did I? I may have. Maybe I did. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Don't want the Nine. What was the Eight? Yeah, we did. Okay. Good. All right. So the next card we're looking here is the Past. And um, how could be influencing your present day? We've got the three of swords. A lot of swords here. A lot of stuff on people's minds. Probably more stuff on mine because life is so limited for a lot of people. You know, um, I was in the city one day. And there are apartment buildings. Excuse me. In nice neighborhoods. For some reason, I was focused in on this one apartment building I've never been in before. I don't know how many apartments is in it. But the, it's an apartment building. It's not a house changed it. It's an apartment building. Probably four floors, five floors maybe. I don't know. And um, I'm thinking of these people all summer. Um, it being so warm and so humid and beautiful summer nights and the whole bit. And I thought, this is a shame. The closest these people can come to getting a breath of fresh air is opening a window. Um, because if you went and sat outside, they, there's no balconies or anything. All right? You have to go out of the building. You have to go down a couple flights of stairs if you're living up. And go out the front door and find and park your butt on the stairs somewhere. Right? Where the entryway for everybody is. And that would, uh, somebody would call on you and report you because... Other people have to walk closer than six feet to you to get up those stairs and pass. So they wouldn't, it wouldn't work for them sitting outside, um, say at one in the morning if they can't sleep. And who wants to go for a walk at one? You know what I'm saying? Unless you were with somebody else, you wouldn't want to do that alone. So um, it made me feel really bad for people. That maybe on a normal summer evening, they could do that. They could go downstairs there or upstairs, whatever, and go out to the main the main door and be able to sit there. They wouldn't be able to do that now. Um, I thought, what are these poor people doing? What is going to happen to these poor people? Really terrible. 
really, really terrible. Um, look at that. The three of the things is, just came right up. Unbelievable. The way these cards are popping up here. The book is opening right up on them. This waiting, the reading's been waiting to happen for a few weeks. Motherwort, an herb of confidence and protection, warding off negativity, grows alongside the pond. A swan, a symbol of transformation, change, quest, and manifestation, swims in the pond. The meaning, take a new path to the unknown requires courage unfinished business absence separation resolving conflicts or problems thoughtfully a new life independence transition upheaval discarding unnecessary fears for a leap of faith for some of you that's a good thing all right agonizing over a decision so Making a choice, stopping to think before you make a decision is part of this. Bear with me a moment. The nearby swan in the nearby little brook brings a sense of peace and stability. The atmosphere, the energy that it brings in, which is a beautiful thing. You're being looked over, you're being watched. And maybe you just need to stop and be grateful as well for what you do have in your life with this card, not what you don't have. Washing away that dissatisfaction. Don't let that come into your life, for heaven's sakes. There's enough to deal with just even waking up and getting up out of bed every day. Um, but if you're going to make any changes at this time, you have to be very careful about the changes that you do unfold. All right. Ask the universe to take and guide you with the best of intentions behind everything that you do and to use you if it's so be needed to use you in the best of ways to help other people as well. This is a gorgeous card. But you have growth, you have nature, you have fresh running water. There's even a water pump. Um, is everything perfect? No. Because the card actually shows that there's some wooden boards over the window with gaps in between, so you can tell. So that needs to be straightened out and fixed. There's a warm welcoming, a welcome home light that burns constantly. And the door is open and waiting for you to enter. But be careful where you enter, what you enter into. All right. It's not a bad card. It's a three after all. The next card we're looking at here is the page of chalices, which is the page of cups. Beautiful artwork. Just beautiful. Good artistry. The three of uh, the page of cups. There it is. If I sit and play with these cards by myself, I'm flipping and looking and looking and flipping. And today, they're just there's no time wasted looking them up. Okay. Purple heather for learning, beauty, creative work, and spiritual development is laid out on a rock. A beaver, a symbol of creativity with available resources and with setting goals, works upriver. You can see him. He is right, there he is, right there. There's your beaver. <laughs> okay, um, pretty card. The meaning, creative, creativity, inspiration, using talents, practical use of your skills, new relationship or a new phase of a current relationship, artistic or other creative expression, psychic ability, new social contacts and deliberation, 
creativity and finding an outlet for your inspirations. If you're getting inspired, for heaven's sakes, find that outlet, find that that creative zone where you can make it more than what it already is into something wonderful. Um, you're the creator of your own um, bringing pops of color into your own life also sends a message to the universe for you as well that said I am here I am human I am alive but I'm more than that because I'm human because I'm here because I'm alive it's inspiration all around me all I have to do is find it pick it up embrace it and make it into mine where it's where your creativity comes in you make whatever inspiration that you see that inspires you, you make it your own, is what you do. You take control over your life. Doesn't have to be large. Doesn't have to be small. Find your own comfort zone within your own life, within your own world. If you have to block out the rest, block out the world. Try not to, I'm hearing this for somebody, probably all of you could use this. Do not become obsessed with televised news, radio news, papers news, of, of world events going on. Don't sit on top of stuff like that right now. You're living it. All right. We're all doing it differently depending where we are in the world, but we're all, we've all got the same drive behind us. We've all got the same motivations behind us. Um, we all have the same desires, the aches, the pains, the pining, the, the wanting, the yearning. So, um, but it's so individual. Yes, we're all in the same situation, but individually, there's still a whole world out there full of color, full of energy, this kind of thing. Um, just like this little girl here, she took herself off to the brook all alone. She's got her paints all set up. She's got her ease already. It's all ready to go. And she's the only one other than the beaver there in the background. All right. You may be on lockdown, but while I'm locked down, don't get locked in here. Don't lock yourself away. You know, it's not like the song by Petula Clark. Please lock me away. <laughs> Oh, it's a good one. 1960, might be 69, 65, I don't know, but 1960s. So, that name, that song actually is quite fitting if you knew all the lyrics. Please lock me away while I'll forget the day. And here I hide. Deep inside with my loneliness. I don't care what they say. I won't stay in a world without love. It's a great song. Beautiful card. Great song. It's a card of inspiration. It's a card that's saying, let's get up. Pick yourself up. Do something. Do anything. So you're not part of that. All you're hearing is the ticking of the clock. 24 7 put some tunes on put some music on sing your heart out dance your ass off embrace the good side of life we've got the negative side being shoved down us every day every day every day now fear being shoved at us precaution being shoved at us limitations that there's no ironically limitations that no no ends is that ironic or what it goes on forever these so-called limitations. Your world hasn't changed that much where you forget that you're responsible for your own happiness, your own satisfactions, your own inspirations, your own beauty, your own creativity, and these kind of things. Grasp that back. It's yours, whether you're in the house or not. It's yours. You gotta make you happy first. Don't give up. Please don't give in and don't give up. The next card 
is one that's all about you. It's the Five of Wands, and as I recall, it came up. It came up in reverse. That was uh, not two more reverses, too. Um, where are we with Wands? Where are we? There we go. And it is the Five of Fives. There's not much good going on when the Fives appear. It's the way it goes. So here we have. Malign, an herb of determination, unity, and purposeful action sprouts next to the basket in the clearing. And also there's an ant, a symbol of discipline, order, and goals. It carries off a crumb of bread. Reversed stubbornness, disputes, complex problems, contradictions, arguments, indecisions, Prompts, reorganization, teamwork is needed here, okay? But you've got to pay uh, attention to the other words. This shows you being capable, whoever this is heading home for, of a lot of stubbornness. Maybe it's something you're infamous for within your world, within your friends, your family, kind of thing. The people that know you, they see you as extremely stubborn. When you put your head down, you're no better off here. Just like a bull. You're going to take it on whatever's in front of you. You're so stubborn you won't let go. You won't change it. You won't do anything. You're just going to headbutt it. You know? Take it on aggressively, not assertively. Guilty of that. Finding yourself in the middle of disputes with other people. Feeling like you've got some complex problems, and you probably do. Um, but don't contradict yourself. That's also a warning. Try to stay clear of arguments. If you're indecisive about something, going somewhere, doing something, making a decision. Indecisiveness means kind of, you're kind of just hanging there. You haven't gone left, right, up or down, north, south, east or west. You haven't done anything. You're kind of in the middle. Because you're, you're indecisive on what to do, which way to turn, how to handle something. All right, these are things that you will need to work on. This is just you and nobody else because that's what the card represents is just you. The next card I'm looking here at is your environment, which translates very loosely into your world and to whatever is. One moment, because we're still within wants. Um, there it is, the eight, right? Yeah. A scotch broom for action, communication, purpose, and prosperity is being gathered. A black crested titmouse, a symbol of activation, knowledge, and a good cheer, has settled onto the blanket. The, um, the meaning here, news or communication coming soon, and it's coming in from a distance for somebody. All of a sudden, there's progress, Swiss a swift action for advancement, possibility of travel, a period of waiting is ending, yahoo, events gain speed, tensions become resolved, plans allowed to proceed, progress may be quick, but it might not be permanent. And the prompt, most important part of the card are news from a distance and swift action. It could be, I'm feeling for somebody, that somebody from afar, a very close friend, somebody you know very well, probably a relative, but somebody you're in real good terms with, um, you'll be hearing from them. They're coming up with something ingenious for, for the family, for all of you or all of their friends but something quite ingenious to help to battle the staleness of this. Granted, if you know somebody that has contracted COVID and gotten physically ill, there's nothing stale about that. That's edge of your seat kind of a thing, right? But somebody is going to be contacting you with a brilliant idea. 
how to put in your time, how to be a part of something outside of yourself, I'm hearing, whatever that means, but becoming a part of something that's outside of just you. It means connection. It means communication. It means outreach. It means inner satisfaction. Something bringing you peace. Beautiful. It's something you'll enjoy. Something you really like. And the people that will be involved, you feel the same way. You're all on the same page now. You're all with the same goal, you might say. Maybe it's to carry each other through. Keep yourselves active. You could all be finding a common ground, maybe artistically. Maybe all singing together, yet you're not together. Um, artistically. Something you could all be part of. Whatever this is, is going to be good. Maybe you're all going to creatively take a picture of your days, day by day. Paint a picture of your days. Paint what comes to you. But you're being encouraged to be a part of this as a group without physically coming together. But boy, when you put out your end of things and other people are putting out what they put out, it's like there's nothing separating you. You're all one. And that's a beautiful thing. The next card we're looking at is Reversal of Six of Pentacles. Bear with me one moment. Pentacles, one of my favorite suits. The last two cards cover pentacles, but they're both reversed. I'm not liking that. No. Not at all. Not liking it. Okay. Now that we're near the end, now it's going to get hard to find one. There we go. Six. I just need you, six. I need you, six. I need you, six. There we go. There we go. This card being in reverse. All right. Meadow Sweet for favors, power, balance is offered by the vendor. A woodpecker for generosity, cycles, and growth watches from a tree. The reversed are debts, greed, materialism, overspending, envy, loss through negligence or theft, money owed to others, prompt words of generosity and rewards. Um, well, they're not practicing the six, six feet of social, social distancing at all, of course. Um, But there's interaction here with others. Some of you may feel like I've given up so, so much, so, so much with everything that's going on in the world and I'm tired of it. I'm going to start taking things back. I may end up with more than what I started with. That's called greed. Don't go there. You're being advised. You're being warned to not go there. All right. Keep your materialism down to needs and not wants. Your wants will come later. And maybe a few wants will come on to you without you even trying. And how lucky would that be? You really would. Try not to overspend your energy or your money. Don't be envious of other people. If it brings you some kind of satisfaction, just know this. That some are actually envious of you. Even though you don't see it. It's very, very likely that there are some envious of you. Don't neglect things. Don't neglect your bills. Try to keep up on them. Um, don't walk away and take it for granted that something is safe. It's okay where it lies. Chances are you'll lose it. All right. Don't be negligent of things that you should be caring for. Things that should have your attention. Things that you keep your eye on. There's a slight chance you could be ripped off. Somebody could steal something from you. Be very mindful of that. Take good care of everything. Step up. Take responsibility. If you have any money owed to others, 
do your best to start paying it back. Do your, the best that you can. If you're not able, you just speak up and say, I'm just not able. This is what's going on with me. But be forward, be straight, and be honest. So people know what's going on with you. They're not left to use their imagination, you know, or think that you're avoiding them at some, some cost or some way. Um, we've all got to work through this together, even if, though we're not together, per se. We still have to answer to each other and the world and everything that we do. Please remember that for some of you. Don't get so self-involved and caught up because that's part of the, the meaning of this card of getting all self-involved and it's all about me and who cares? Nobody else cares about me. I'm not going to care. If I do care for anybody, it's just going to be me and nobody else. Don't take on that kind of an attitude. That's poisonous. It's terrible. We're not going to be pandemic forever. The day is going to come. We're going to walk away from that and leave it behind. I believe that. It's going to be a long time, I also believe. But I know that there is a closure. There is an ending that will come when it's due to come. You want to come out of that holding your head high, not hiding from people. Can't make it any plainer. The last card, card number 10, came up in reverse. Is the eight again. Of Pentacles the eight and that's only over by a couple of pages here there we go all right this is your last card for everybody all right lilacs are for business security creativity and focus it grows by the door you can see it there. And a pigeon, a symbol of security, home, and luck, is nearby. Reversed. Short-term vision in work. Minimal rewards. Wasted effort. Poor investment. Job dissatisfaction. And for more of us than not, I, I don't include myself in that, but for everybody else that's out there in the world you go to work every day this sort of this that a lot of people are suffering through this right now um you know a limit to how much work you can get how many hours you can get minimal rewards it feels like you and that's true for some some places are taking care of their employees while others are not that's where the minimal reward feeling comes in for you wasted effort Maybe a project or something you put all your time, your mental and emotional energy into, and you're feeling now that it was a poor investment for yourself and of yourself and feeling like it was a wasted effort. That's too bad. Some of you very, very dissatisfied within your work, within your job. That's all part of it as well. Um... trying to to especially the negative energies to keep to keep these things in perspective you know what i'm telling you guys right now all you can do you be your own judge and jury we might say you be you be our uh your own judge and jury you be the one that, that forms an opinion on yourself, what you're doing, how you're doing, how you're feeling. And um, never mind everybody else. Everybody, not everybody, but so many people, what the COVID has done is given them a very, very limited um, place of central energy, very limited. And um, negative attitudes, oh, there's always room for bad and negative in the dark. Maybe make an effort to try to fight through that. I'm going to pull a general overall card for the moment, just for now, to see what comes up. Overall energy for the reading. What was the overall energy for this reading? If I could have that, please. There go my cards slipping. I haven't dropped them yet. I don't want to start. I'm going to cut the deck right here and see what comes up. 
the High Priestess. Beautiful card. We'll take her. My moment. I can't see. Everything's blurry. The High Priestess. Beautiful card. Right in the beginning here. Now it's card number two. Find it, find it, find it. There we go. There we go. All right. This is the overall energy. Should have done that at first, but I didn't. So, um, the High Priestess drops Axia, Axia, something like that, flowers into the water for consecration and psychic power and directs the lunar energy with her wand. Her black cat, a symbol of focus and magic and psychic power, sits nearby, watching the cauldron. Trusting intuition? You must. Insight? Try. Secrets revealed? Not others, we hope, but only to yourself. Keeping confidence, perception, hidden truths, occult studies, destiny revealed, psychic dreams, psychic ability, being, able, uh, being between the worlds and receiving divine inspiration and spiritual development. Beautiful. Secrets, intuition, and psychic ability are the prompts on this card. That, you know, this card kind of, when you think about the rest of the cards that came up in the reading, kind of covers it all. It really does. Because what have I been pushing for you to try for yourself? To be your own judge and jury. Never mind what other people think. To do your best. To not give up. To look for inspiration. Embrace and own the inspiration. Allow color into your life. Everything is downgraded. and Done in smaller ways. But it's still there. Why does it have to be as big as the world? It doesn't right now. Whatever you're going for, whatever you're doing with your life, as long as it fills your world, don't worry about the rest. And like I said, you're going to be hearing something from someone that lives a long ways off. It's going to be a wonderful experience for you. Very, very, very satisfying. There you go, my friends. We are at typical time. 57 minutes. 58, 59, 58 minutes in. Okay, I'm going to get this uploaded and posted to you all, um, and I'm wishing you the best of the best. Hope you're all having a really good Sunday. You're making the most of it. Try to see the beauty in the world. Don't stick your head up your own butt and close the world out. Don't do that. What good is that going to do? Isn't going to do anything positive. That's for darn sure. Let me tell you, keep on the bright side. Wake up every day and say, Today is going to be my day. Something good's going to happen. Today is going to be a good day. At least put the intention out there, but you got to believe it. And if you are a little short in the belief factor, talk to the universe, the source, your creator, whichever way you want to refer to the power. All right. Until then, please let the integrity be your guide. Ride it like a heartbeat. Grab those handles and hold on. Let it lead you. Let it carry it through. That'll help you keep on the straight and the narrow, spiritually speaking. You won't be so quick to sway off. Always remember the universe knows you well. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you'll never fool the universe. You're the biggest fool of all if you think that you can. All right? Keep your peace, your love in. Keep that inward. Feed yourself first so you can share your peace and love out with the rest of the world. Better days are coming. Hold on, everybody. Just hold on. Live your life in a smaller way. In the best way that you can find. But don't stop. Just don't stop. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this general reading. The Celtic Cross for anybody that views it. Have a wonderful life.